Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and what we're looking at this time is the Goko White Number no. 1 Nashiji Petty 210mm knife. So this line of knives has a core steel of Shidogami or White Paper Number no. 1 uh, High Carbon Reactive Carbon Steel from Hitachi. And uh, he treats somewhat conservative 60 Wakwa on that core steel, so that gives you a little bit of forgiveness in terms of the steel properties um, at the expense of some edge retention. The... Um, Construction is a three-layer sandwich with stainless steel, soft stainless cladding on either side of that coarse steel. So only the steel exposed at the edge is reactive. The cladding is stainless for a little bit easier maintenance. Almost nothing sharpens as easily as a good Shirogami uh, number one. And uh, so it's super easy to sharpen and will take a screaming sharp edge. It's just awesome to sharpen. So... Uh, the edge retention isn't the greatest, but a lot of people have no problem exchanging that for the ease of sharpening that they get with the good Shidogami number one. The weight on this knife, and these will vary a little bit from knife to knife, but it's about 4.8 ounces, 136 grams. Edge length is 208 on this one. Again, that'll vary a little bit, or about 8.2 inches. And the overall length is about 14.1 for this knife. Uh, spine thickness will vary as well. This one's about a little over three inches coming out of the handle above the back of the blade. This one thins out pretty quickly off of that and then holds, I don't know, two, maybe two-ish or so millimeter, two and a half, until you get to the very tip where the grind kicks in on the primary grind and it thins up towards the tip. So not a ton of distal taper. The blade height is 34.4 on this one at the heel. And then the handle is an ambidextrous um, octagonal uh, walnut with a black peck of wood ferrule. Circumference on this handle is right about three inches or 76 millimeters where the ferrule meets the wood. And let's take a look at the close-up of the knife. So the finish on this is known as a nishiji or pear skin finish. So it's got kind of a mottled finish like a skin of a pear, uh, hence the name. And uh, it's kind of a nice uh, refined rustic effect. You've got some hand chisel kanji. Uh, their style is to make it rather faint, so it's not a deep and beveled, shouldn't say beveled, but a deep cut hand chisel kanji like let's say on a masakage, but uh, that's their style. And you can see the finish, and it's a little hard to tell, but there is a cladding line towards the very edge. It's rather small and faint, but don't know if you can catch that, but it is there. And these have a nice edge on them with some polish to it, so these are a good solid six out of 10 on the edge. Uh, just on my general scale compared to a lot of knives I see. And um, here is your spine thickness. The blade itself is pretty stiff, so it's one of the stiffer sujis, or sujihiki, or slicing knives. I shouldn't say suji, but petty, excuse me. Um, speaking of that, why would you use a 210 petty? Well, a lot of people use these for either short slicers, like a short sujihiki, or um, for a line knife. They want something a little less tall and not super long. So these do get used a lot in pro environments as well. People Pros are always looking for a good uh, 180 to 210 uh, petty style knife. And so Mark got them to make these and bring them in. You've got a comfortable uh, spot here for a pinch grip. Balance point on these is right about there. It's going to vary a little bit from knife to knife, but that's pretty close to a pinch grip. And finish is uh, refined rustic, but they've relieved the spine a little bit as well as the choil into the neck, the back of the blade. So these are comfortable right out of the box. There really shouldn't be much you have to do to them other than if you want to put a uh, finishing touch on the sharpening if you want to do that. But they're pretty sharp right out of the box, so pretty much ready to go. Well, let's take a look at the profile on a cutting board, even though you won't do necessarily a ton of that. But um, you might use this as a slicer or... Some people do like to do board work, like I said, with uh, using these for line duty in a restaurant situation or a pro situation. So you don't have a lot of belly towards the tip, so it's fairly rounded, but you're not going to rock very high with this. You'll get right in there before I start digging the tip in. Every knife's going to be a little different, so if you get one of these, your profile might be slightly different as uh, from this one as well as the tip, but this is what this one looks like. So just a, a nice choice for an easy to sharpen, uh, fairly easy to take care of uh, 210 Petty. If you're looking for one of those, they're not necessarily super common. So nice wah handled version. This is the Goko Shidogami number one, Nashiji Petty 210 millimeter knife.